back to Daisy. In any case, I'm just still on the outside of Zelenogolski. Just gonna go get some more uh, equipment for the base. I've gotta get a code lock. Okay. So we got a fair bit of money from the trader last time. Just gonna head into Zelenogolsk and see what gear I can find as well. Okay, just heading into Zelenogolsk here. Looks like these two have already been searched. There's probably people around here. Seems to be one of the more populated areas on this server specifically. A lot of PvP around Zelenogovsk. Just heading to see what we can find out. Parts being searched, it looks like. Let's take that. Some health. And a jacket. Okay, let's go some gear from Inzelanigos there. Let's have a look what's around here. Hmm, now I'll find nails after I buy them. Oh god. Spent so long looking for them. That's the first time I've found a box of them on the server. So rare for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, we just head up back to the base. We'll store those nails. So they're very rare in the server. Okay, just heading back to the base here. Might actually extend the base out and build a uh, shed so that we can um, store this quad bike in there. It's probably our best bet. Because people can come up and take the cover off and then it despawns, even if it is locked. So you kind of need a shed for it. Take that off. Yes, we'll need to do that. We'll need to build a shed. So that'll be our goal for now. I wonder if there's a way you can third person vehicles on the server. I don't think so, it's a first person server. But I thought you could still third person on vehicles. I'm not too sure. Let's see if there's a way. I don't think so on this server, I think it's only first person. We'll have a look though. Generally, that should be an option somewhere. I'm alright with first person servers and just like to third person at least in vehicles. Easier to drive really. You can see obstacles better. Okay. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's see anything in settings there. Maybe in one of these other settings. Lots of different settings there. Right, let's head out of here. And I'm going to head over to the uh, black market and sell some more stuff. And we'll come back and try to build a uh, shed for this quad bike. So we've got somewhere to store it. Okay.
quite nice to just be able to ride around on the quad bike now. Makes it so much easier to get around. Especially as a solo bike, running across this map takes so long sometimes. Okay. So we're going to go to the black market trade. I'll need to be careful there because that's a PvP zone. It's pretty dangerous as a solo. Been shot at many times there, so. Sliding out of her. Whoa! It's glitched out there. That was weird. That was crazy decent. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's so head over this way. Okay. Go through this town here. I need to be careful though, there's probably people around here. Okay, haven't been shot at. Should be alright. Continue on along this road. Getting near the trader now. Just have to be careful around there. Let's see if we can jump this. Oh, really? Ah, that would have been cool. That's like a solid object, this so I don't know why you can't jump that. At least when you're running it, it's solid. Set in here quickly. Get what we need. Doesn't look like there's anyone in here. Starting to look at what we can sell here. Sells for ten thousand, let's sell that. Okay.
Okay, just selling some stuff here. They sell for a fair bit, these IFAC health things. before we go. There we are. Let's get out of here before anyone else comes. Well, I've got like 160,000 for it. I wish you could just sell all that stuff at other traders because you have to come all the way over here just to sell that. Anyway. Someone just ran straight past me then. I'm not even going to bother with him. I want to get back and not lose my money. Okay. Let's get out of it. Might have heard my quad bike start up, but I'll just ride off here. Oh, I'll flip them. We'll head on back towards the Green Mountain Trader. And then we'll go back to our base after that. Headlights. You're getting quite dark now. It's actually harder to see with those lights on. Let's leave it off. How small people could probably see me with them on. Stand out as a target. Okay, just going back through this town here. It's kind of dodgy going through these areas with all the houses. Anyone could just be sitting in one and shoot at it. Imagine it's pretty hard to hit someone on the quad bike though, because you're going quite fast. Even if you're going like 70, it's still pretty hard. It's pretty fast. Alright, we're through there. Continue on.
find a better dude, just go straight on the grass here. And just turn across, rather than have to turn corners on the road in that. The other thing is, people go along main roads, so. Lots of a target. Almost to the Green Mountain Trader here. Okay, we'll just go up and uh, deposit the money we got. Safe zone now, okay. Let's deposit this money. Okay, anything else we need for the base as well. I'm going to go back and extend the base. I want to build a garage on it for the uh, vehicles. I'll lock the uh, quad bike in there so it doesn't disappear on restart and whatnot. Let's lock that. Okay, so we got a fair bit there. Okay. So we need a code lock. And I might grab a um, storage kit as well. storage box here. That'll come in handy. Some storage for the base. Anyone else? Let's grab anything else we need while we're here. Okay, so we've got a code lock there. Use up some drink as well. sleeping bag as well so we've got a spawn point in the base so if you want to spawn in your base you need to have a uh, sleeping bag there or if you want to spawn anywhere else in the map as well I think it needs to be in a base though so it doesn't despawn actually quite expensive as well where did that go? I just bought one I don't know where it went this way I just bought a sleeping bag, where did it go? That's weird, I just bought that and now it's gone. The 50,000's gone there. I don't know. That's weird. Sleeping bag. Let's check it's in one of these storage things I've got here. No idea. Hmm, I don't know if that glitched out or something. That money's gone though. I definitely bought the sleeping bag. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't see it drop on the ground or anything. 
Let's head back to the base. We'll start building. Need to build a garage for the quad bike. Should I fall? No, no, no. I just go into that and it wasn't even driving there. Oh, there's some weird glitches. I might actually drop into Zelenegos quickly and um, see what I can get around there. See if there's anywhere around there. See what other uh, guns I can get. Okay, just have a look around Zelenagos for some gear. Okay. Is there someone over there? I swear I just heard a bunch up here. Hmm. Okay, I found this RSASS. And a fair bit of other gear. Use up some food here, I'm getting pretty low again. Okay, there's a bit of drink too. Health is actually starting to go down because I didn't use food and drink for a bit. And that should do it for now. Just take that. Vector suppressor. Keep an eye out for anyone around who've heard a lot of gunshots. Hmm. I swear there's someone over there. I swear I just saw someone run past this one. Okay, I've just headed up to the fire station here, over the other side. Nope. 
Just fell down there. Okay. This is actually a dead body, Ali. Let's search this and see where he's got. Let's go on prone here because I saw someone over there before. Let's take this. Let's take that. That assault rifle is actually 308. The MSB. Whatever it's called. So this one's 308. The AK is only 556. Five, this one there. Oof. He just moved as a shot. What's he on there? He's going around the back of the building. He'll probably run out of here now. Some poke back out yet. I don't know where he went there. Might have went in that small building to the left. Just gonna hop off of here because it's a bit dodgy staying up there. You might have saw where I shot from, I'm not sure. Just give it a minute here. Just gonna head back this way and see if I can see him from the road over here. And some shots there. Okay, it's back in the fire station here. There's been a lot of gunfire around here, but I lost some there. Oh, well, that wasn't loaded. What the? How did that not kill him? I think I was actually hitting the window there. The side of it. That's so annoying. That's so confusing. Wow, that was straight on him as well. I don't know how that did not kill him. Mustn't have been giving him damage, it must have been hitting the window. I saw a bit shards of glass flying off. He got a shot on me though. Two cuts. He'll probably head up this way as well. Just need to go heal in here. I think that last shot hit him though. The last shot didn't hit the window. Wow, that should have been a kill though. Oh well. I'm gonna head out of this building after I heal up. No point in hanging around. There we are. Fair bit of health back there. Okay. Maybe my marking was wrong or something. Just change it to 200. That shouldn't have affected it though, that was barely 100 meters, like it's so close to me though. Very weird. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's someone there. I just headed over to this main building. Just wanted to get out of that fire station. Let's see this guy. You have a gun there? I'm not sure. I'll take him out. He's down. Well, there's a lot of dead bodies around here. Really good PvP zone, uh, this area, specifically on this server, Zolanagos. I think it's because that crate is pretty close by, so a lot of people come in here.
Hmm, another dead body there. Let's take that dog tag. So you can actually, on this server, you sell those dog tags to the trader. Get a fair bit of money for it too. Get out of it. Probably end up getting killed. Okay, just heading over to the base. Got a fair bit of gear from his line goal, sir. Let's head on up with this one. Just trying to find the road to get up here. We're going over here, though. So we'll continue building out the base and adding a garage for the quad bike. I think it's like one of the only ways it doesn't despawn on this service, so kinda need a base for it. You can put a camo net over it, but then anyone can just walk up and take it off and then it despawns. So it's better to have it in a base and then add the camo net over it so it doesn't despawn. And then it's locked in there and no one can take that off. Just for anyone Wanted to build a base, it's good to know that. And for anyone that's gonna buy a quad bike. Okay, let's try get this through here. We'll lock that up for now while we build. It's like I could leave it here with the chemo net over it. And it won't despawn, but someone could walk through and just take the camo net off and then it will despawn still. So that's why you kind of need it in the base. <laughs> well, it's kind of pointless. So you need to do the same with helicopters on the server as well, you have to add the camo net. Otherwise it despawns after server restart. Not sure why it does that. Maybe so there's just not vehicles everywhere. <laughs> oh, these trees are still down here. They actually do respawn these trees once it's uh, servers restarted. Hoping not too many of them are going to go through my base. They will go through your base too if you build near them. So let's get him. Attach this code lock. Okay. Alright, now we've got a lock for the front door at least. Another thing you want to make sure you do is raise the flagpole inside your base, otherwise it will despawn on this server. I think you get about two or three days. So each time you log in you have to actually raise the flag so it doesn't despawn. Put a bit of, of a gap in the wall there, I might fix that. People can see straight in here. I need to move this as well. So you can fold your workbench and replace it somewhere else. storage box as well, so we'll put that down. I don't think you can actually find storage boxes on this server, you have to actually buy them from the trader. It's the only way you can get them. Oh yeah.
Let's put some of this stuff in there. Okay. Bunch of keys there. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a bunch of ruined ones too. I've only bought two quad bikes so far, so the two keys there from my quad. Let's get rid of this in the middle of the base. Hopefully this doesn't spawn back here. It probably will. I actually, I don't know if there's a way to get them to stop spawning in your base, the trees. There must be some sort of way. I'll have to figure that out. some wall kits so we can start building a uh, let's cover this up first and then we'll start building a garage I just don't like the fact someone can look straight through there and see what I've got inside it because if they see that there's storage boxes in here they will bother breaking in but if they can't see any they might not bother line that up okay let's place this here so you press page up and down to make it go up and down. You need to make sure you don't have a gap at the bottom. For anyone new to base building here. Okay. Should we cover up that gap there. I accidentally placed one above as well. I can't get up on the roof there. Just leave that there for now. I need to get some more wood. Chop down a couple of these trees. These bigger trees are good, they seem to give three or four logs sometimes. Okay. Just chop some of this up, so you need a handsaw to make the planks as well. You can use a hand saw or there's a um, there's two different types of saws you can use to do this. I think the other one's a hacksaw or something. Okay. Let's go add those. I think it's about twelve planks per wall, something like that. Maybe a bit more 14 or something. The big thing is the nails. And this server seems to be a bit more rare for nails, whereas some other servers you can find nails very easily. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of annoying not be able to find them, because I don't really like having to use the traders all the time. But, um, if that's what you have to do, then, yeah. Okay. How's that not going in? If they combine these like this for some reason, I don't know why you can't just double click it and then it stacks on top of the other ones. Yeah, like that. It's weird. Sort of gives us a bit of cover on our front door there as well. It's actually not a bad idea having this here. So if we're unlocking it, someone can't just shoot at us from this angle. Okay, the hammer. You can use the hammer or that little saw there as well to hammer stuff. It's probably better just to buy that little saw so you don't waste money on a hammer. But I didn't realise that till after. 
Okay, there we go. Now we've got a bit of protection there. Can't see through there anymore. I need to take that off the top, but I can't jump up there anymore. I don't know how it placed that up there. It's weird. Take these nails back. Stack these planks. Okay, it's a bit better. raise this flagpole. Must have forgot to do that before. Yes, yeah, so you need to keep that raised or your base will disintegrate over time. So that's why you have to log in there every couple of days to raise the flagpole. It's kind of an interesting concept. I think it's too short though, like if you don't log in for two days your whole base is gone, which is pretty crazy. It should be like a week or something. But um, I guess every server does that differently as well. Okay, so let's craft the garage door. Three nails, three planks, alright. Put that on the front. Let's see where we can place this here. Maybe sideways somewhere. Okay, place this here. Should be alright. Okay, build another wall kit. Start that. Should be alright to store one quad by along here. I think so. I'll try it out. And all these trees blocking me. There you go. I think that will fit the quad bike here. We can extend it out anyway later on. Okay, just grab some nails here, and we need some wood as well. Just empty my backpack as well. Got more room here. Okay, just chop down some more trees and just get some planks as well. Cleared a lot of this forest there. Alright, there should be enough planks there. Got a stack of 16. Okay, stack of 20 and a couple more here. Let's add them to the wall. It's always good. Once you use, uh, once you make your wall, always take them out. Because people can just walk along and whatever you got left in there, they can take out. Like your nails or your planks. Okay. Touch one to this other wall.
Okay. Just need to attach some nails here. That should be enough. 43. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay. All right. There's a the garage door. Still got some nails left there too. Let's attach some to this wall now. Come on. Need a little bit more nails. Got another box here somewhere. There it is. I thought I would add enough for both of those walls. Apparently not. Okay. There we go. Need a roof for that. That's all good so far. Okay, so attach a code lock to that. So we've got two locks that people need to go through to get into the base. Okay. There we go. So we need to do a roof as well. There are different types of roof kits here. That's a triangle roof. Okay, let's have a look at that. I don't know if that'll fit here though. Almost. Maybe. Might be a bit too small. Okay, lower that there. That should do about there. Hmm, yeah, bit of a gap there though. That's the only problem. I don't think that'll work. Place that there and we'll make a normal roof as well. I think we might need the normal one. There we go. That should fit. That. I think that should cover that whole area. I think that's covered that gap now. Yeah, that should do. Okay. I'll touch those. I'll just show all this so if anyone doesn't add a base building 
and they do it now. Seems to be a lot of people that are new to base building, so it's best to show some of this stuff. Alright, we'll chop down a couple more trees. Alright, that should do for now. Probably just double roof this anyway, so it's got a bit more. Might be harder to break in. I think you have to, on this server, I think you can only actually break through doors. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you can break through walls. That's why you place the wall. When you place the wall, it says inside. You need to place it on the inside part so people can't break into it. If you place that the wrong way around, I'm pretty sure they can break that down with a uh, small hatchet. Which is good to know. Okay, I'll attach it to this last one. Takes quite some time to do all this solo, but once you do it more, like the faster you can do it. I've only done this a couple of times building a base, so you know, standalone that is. Okay, no one can get through that gap. Should be alright. Okay, let's see if we can put our bike in there now. Try to put our quad bike in there. I made a tiny garage there because I had to fix one of the walls anyway. But um, this should still fit in. That's all I wanted to fit in was the quad bike. Why can't I put this in the storage? Oh, I need to unlock it first. Hopefully this will fit in that little gap there. I don't know, it might be a tight squeeze, but pretty small vehicle. <laughs> it's not caught on this tree, is it? It's the only thing that this god mode gets caught on everything. It's so annoying. Might have to push that off. How is that caught on that? This takes so long to push, it's so stupid, this system.
This quad bike's good, but it gets stuck on literally everything. It's so annoying. Like, this is just the tree here. It should be able to ride over that. This pushing system, like, I've been here for five minutes trying to push this off here. So annoying. It moves, but it's so slow. I get they're trying to go for a realism thing, but... I don't know. There's a lot in this game that's not that realistic, so... It's kind of weird. Should just push it and actually push it off, probably. This is not a glitch. This is literally the pushing system. It's terrible. I don't know why it's there. It does nothing. Let's hope this works now. This is taking so long to try to dislodge this off here. That pushing system is absolutely useless. And even if you flip it with the wrench, like it doesn't do anything. The only way it does anything with the wrench is if it's upside down. Let's see if this gets it off. Try rev a bit. And it looks like it's slowly coming off. There we go. Oh my god, that took so long to get that off. <laughs> that was so stupid. That's such a waste of time. I really need to fix that system, I should push and, you know, push it really far so it gets off whatever it's on. You know, who decided to make it like that? It's terrible. Okay. See if this fits in alright. I think it's going to block the door there, that's the only problem. I mean, probably jump over it though and still unlock the door. I don't know, I think that closes like that. I don't think you're allowed to block doors as well on bases on this server, like it's a part of the rules. No, that's hmm. not fitting. It still there. hangs out. Yeah, that's not fitting there. Wow, I thought that would fit in that space. Maybe I'll put it sideways or something. I can break this back wall out anyway and extend it further, that's what I'll do later on. See if we can fit it in our way. Let's put it in maybe like sideways or something. Okay, that closes like that. That's good enough. Yeah, that's the only way we're going to feed it for now. I'll have to extend that back wall though, because I don't think you're allowed to block doors in your base like that. I wonder if I can close that. And then try it. Yeah, that'll be better. Now I can actually have a look where I want to park it. Probably drive it around while that door's closed and it will let me turn around maybe. That'll be one way not to block the entrance here. Yeah, that should be. People should be able to get through there anyway. So if we turn this like this... Yeah, okay. So people can still access that door there. Okay, that's quite good good enough for now. I need to make this wider obviously for this to store in here properly, but works anyway for now. I'm just trying to get a base up as quick as possible, so just made it quite compact. Okay, let's cover this up so it doesn't despawn. Apparently you need to cover these on the server so it doesn't despawn the vehicle. I'm not sure we need to lock the actual camo net though. Alright for now though. Should have made this bigger really, but I don't know. It's alright for now. Might 
make some more walls as well. I'll kind of take down this wall. Oh, there we go. I'm going to actually extend this out so then we can park this properly. I'd rather just extend this out now so just in case any admins check or anything it's built properly so people can access that entrance. You have to be able to access the entrance of your base without you know, jumping over things like that. Can extend this out. Across here into the back, that should be enough space. There you go. Direct access to the entrance as well, and then the quad bike can go on the side. Alright, let's do that. Okay, that should do that. And we'll connect it at the back as well. Oh, that's... No, that's alright there. Sort of... Chopping through the door. Might have to re... Do that. Might be alright there. Yeah, I'm gonna move that back a little bit. I just wanna make sure that's not clipping through the shed door. I don't know if that'll affect anything? Probably not, but... <laughs> I don't know what's with this rotation system. It takes ages to turn this around if you're using your mouse wheel. Kind of weird. Maybe you could switch out to a button so it just turns around straight away, I don't know. You can use snap lock, but it doesn't put it in the position you want it. So the inside has to point inside like that or otherwise I'm pretty sure people can just smash it down straight away with a hatchet if it's not on the, pointing on the inside like that. That's why it's got it indicated. That should be fine. Okay. It's a fair bit of base building this episode, just trying to get a start on the server. Oh, we might need a little bit more wood. Nothing fancy with this base, just something small and compact. I think the bigger you build a base as well, the more you become a target. Like, groups are going to surge huge bases, they're not going to bother with little bases like this. Even if you do have a shitload of gear in here, you can stack it inside the base and they won't really know. Anyway. Craft another wall kit. Right. Grab two wall kits. Let's finish this one off. I'll reinforce all these walls with steel later, probably. I actually don't know if it even matters in the server, though, like, if you're only breaking through doors. Because people are only going to be using C4, so the only way they can break through... Yeah, is with C4. Hmm. Let's put this here. Up there. I don't know if that's gonna matter. I don't think people will be able to get through that. We can fill that in later anyway. Just do this out a bit here. This should give us more than enough room for the quads now. Might be able to add two vehicles. Put the second wall here. There we go. Bit dodgy, but that's alright for now. Oh, some gunshots close by.
yeah, so people can't get through this gap here. That should be alright. I'll fill that in though later on. Let's just get this shed done. Do this other wall. And that should be alright for now. Okay, just run out of wood. Chop down a couple more trees here and we should be alright. It's quite a long process doing this solo, but I think that once you learn how to do it, you can do it quicker each time. What I should have done is emptied my backpack and just put all the logs in there so I don't have to keep doing this coming out of here. Anyway. Backpack's still got heaps of stuff in it. Okay, let's finish that off. I think I might actually need some more nails. Alright, so I'll finish this wall off, and then we'll leave it there for now, and we'll continue on next time. And I'll finish up some of the base, and I'll roof there as well. See you guys in the next video.